today uh, you just uh, read your book uh, that is uh, in the page number 51 of my soft copy maybe somewhere uh, near to that only you will also have the same material so it is written under behavioral approach it is mentioned in subhead a role of counselor that a counselor may take you should listen very carefully and understand its meaning a counselor may take one of the several roles depending on his or her behavioral orientation so you have to understand its meaning in depth a counselor may take one of the several roles depending on his or her behavioral orientation that means when a client is coming you cannot stick to say that i am strictly going to use a pavlovian theory you may behavioral approach say you may have to club many theories many concepts the purpose is to change the behavior so let's just recall the behavioral concepts we learned last year i taught you in depth using the slides of dog and all that his pavlovian experiment which he did uh, uh, taking uh, 30 years so it's let us see it, its therapeutical application it's part of your syllabus only this time also they are uh, mentioning all the five categories so let us go to this before that let us learn the basics of certain behavioral concepts so the nature nature certainly you learned in detail i don't have time to spend much time on this the nature as you know the genetic wiring as received from your parents when they are uh, birth uh, everything i taught you in mbc2 so the nature is the genetic wiring that uh, you received or the client received or anybody in the world received uh, combined by from you are uh, uh, the first cell formed in mother's womb resulting from the contribution of father as sperm and the contribution of mother as egg now it is permanent so we call it as god given or nature given hence call it as nature so this is something permanent the nurture begins right from the mother's womb so anybody in the world is that so no need of finding fault in anybody so you can definitely use all the screens i sent appropriately showed to the clients and uh, the uh, uh, their parents their family members so you can build a rap of first every time it may not fit them you appropriately by learning using many of the concepts that's why it's mentioned a counselor may take one of the several roles depending on his or behavioral orientation depending on the client you have to make use of the various concepts you study all the uh, slides i sent you may be able to utilize it. so the nurture as you know it begins right from the mother's womb so whenever a client comes these are all i shown to you last year also a client they may come the first uh, uh, face showing equal like a dislike 50% okay sometimes a major part of the experience or also the you have studied that the mental status examination by the time you do this internship mental status examination suppose the mental while doing the mental status examination suppose a second uh, uh, face is present that that means the person is disinterested not showing any interest towards counseling so uh, he will not have any interest to listen to you so another thing is uh, maybe he is happily coming and wanted to change then it is very easy in any case our purpose must be you must be able to create a, a phase the third phase that is the willingness to discuss and resolve the problem that is the first step in counseling now all this uh, i am sharing once again you can definitely go and learn once again i i will not have time to discuss the first year portion in detail again so the four step model this also i had shown but i wanted to repeat this because whichever whether it is behavioral approach or any other approach that you do the purpose in counseling is no doubt attainment or acquisition process you must be able to attain or acquire certain skills in your client and that skills are to be retained okay he agreed suppose it is a student who cannot study learn understand read 
then you taught him all the memory techniques, lot of things that you know, uh, attention deficit problem, how can be solved. All the, you'll be learning a lot of things this year again. So the retention process is taking place only for two days. What will happen? It's called a relapse prevention. You need to do the relapse prevention. Then behavioral protection process. No behavior in contrary to what is required shall happen. It will happen, but it has to be corrected by the parents or the other inmates of the house, school, society. And the benefit will be next examination the student will be getting the best uh, mark or improved mark. So it's a motivation for him. Same is with any case, see the family case, even your own, my own students. Everybody may not be having a beautiful family life. Then what shall be done? Attain, so you can think, okay, to a client, a troubled relation. You can bring back to the imaginations because first time the, the client may, may, be, may not be even interested to, for a counseling. Somebody forced, that is where they came. So troubled relation uh, at the verge of uh, separation, divorce. So you can bring back the, them through a lot of uh, therapies that to, for an imagination of their beautiful old days. Can it be brought back? So what, to do that, there should be attainment or acquisition process of the old behavior, all the good behaviors. So retention process means that good behaviors are to be retained. Behavior production process means any behavior that is the contrary to that should not be produced. Or the production process must be what is retained the good area. Reinforcement will be happy sexual life, happy romantic life. So it may continue. There also there will be less prevention. There is the importance of transactional analysis. Many of the relations would have spoiled, would have got spoiled because of the bad transaction. You can simply imagine your own life. Many of the troubled relations may be due to what? To troubled transaction. The contamination of parent or child. So whichever theory that you study, whichever therapy you apply, whichever method you do, the purpose is that attainment or acquisition process, retention process, behavior production process, and reinforcement or motivational process. Are you clear now? My dear students? Yes, sir. Okay, my dear students. Uh, so let us just have a... Uh, just let me rush the screens that we studied last year. So the Pavlov, what he said, all behaviors are acquired, whether good, bad, whatever, undesirable, desire, whatever. So extinction, uh, anything can be stopped because he could stop salvation. So the major threat is spontaneous recovery of, so I'm not going in detail because I taught you in detail. If, the, if anybody, any student here didn't attend the first year class, wanted to learn more, they are welcome. I can share, uh, you, let them come to my WhatsApp. I can give private classes uh, at my clinic. That's absolutely no problem. But I don't have, I've got a limited time of two hours only. So spontaneous recovery of learned behavior, that means whatever learned is coming back, old behavior, old bad behaviors comes back, like uh, drinking, smoking, drug use, etc. Or the mobile phone addiction, whatever. So second major threat is generalization. We try to justify our behavior. A drug god may say, what wrong, what all poisonous things we are eating and drinking. What is going to happen? A smoker may say, already there is pollution. If I smoke one more cigarette, what will happen? So uh, Pavlov said that's a discrimination. That is a great solution. Anyone capable of discriminating between good and bad will be successful in their life. He said that the best example of traffic signal, that is why we stop at the traffic signal, because it is danger to proceed. Likewise, if a person is able to understand uh, his behavior is going to tarnish uh, his uh, and sabotage his life, he may change. But here are all the things that you have to understand. In a normal uh, person with a little or small psychotic or uh, neurotic problems, it is possible. But in the case of addiction, where the body chemistry has already been changed, hypothalamus has tamed in a different uh, wrong way, it is not possible for a psychologist to do. That also I'll be covering through addiction uh, slides in another day. But uh, you should have to understand that these are all possible for a simple anxiety disorders, the behavioral therapy, or if the person is willing, then it is possible. Now we'll, I have sent all these slides, but I will not be able to present all these slides. But uh, you just uh, see <coughs> the amount of the criticisms, as you know, he studied uh, mostly with the animals, but with the child, see the reinforcement, the second, uh, the, uh, portion of the screen. 
ஒரு மதுரை ஸ்டெலிங் பேட் பாய் சோ எவ்ரி டைம் தி டாக் இஸ் கெட்டிங் சிமிலர் ஸ்டிமுலஸ் தி சைல்ட் இஸ் கெட்டிங் ரெயின்ஃபோர்ஸ்ட் பேட் ஸ்டிமுலஸ் ஹியர் பேட் பாய் தென் தி டாப் தி டாக் அண்ட் ஃபுட் ஓன்லி பேடி தி சைல்ட் இஸ் கெட்டிங் அனதர் ஸ்ட்ராக் நெகட்டிவ் ஸ்ட்ராக் தென் பாஸ்டார்ட் சோ Uh, every time the child is getting with different reinforcements uh, from bad to worse so uh, the, exactly this theory may not work in human you have to use positive strokes to improve to bring back now see in the skinnerian theory as you know uh, that also you studied you would have written the examination or may, maybe awaiting for the examination whatever you know the positive actions are always promoted according to this theory negative actions are punished so positive actions are promoted to what for what is the purpose to repeat the behavior negative actions are used to uh, punish the behavior the the tool used in this is a uh, this is a first the important thing whether partial or continuous reinforcement is better those who attended my uh, first year class only can easily understand all those that is a uh, partial reinforcement that is every day talking the same thing for changing the behavior will not work suppose you are talking to child study 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 it will not work why because he is fed up with it is better to open a tape recorder or a mobile recorder and switch on go and study so if you the parents are again repeatedly telling 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 there is no improvement so the best example for that is a fishing Uh, that also I explained the last year that a person has, is going for a fishing in the uh, river or the sea uh, he is not getting uh, any fish till 12 o'clock and whatever little he got he threw it uh, out of anger he threw it uh, back to the sea uh, but see that um, uh, when uh, he, at the time of leaving at 12 o'clock he got a catch very good catch so the question is whether he will continue or not he will definitely continue why because uh, it is a motivator for him likewise even a little uh, that you punish whenever there is a, a good mark when improvement in the behavior of the family or the kitchen mm. uh, or the behavior of husband uh, just a small improvement in the reduction of anger or improved uh, behavior with regard to drug use or you have to appreciate that is the partial reinforcement also can change the behavior of a person now it is not necessary that every day one should be perfectly all right so the best example is door to door salesman he you may ridicule him you may send him back again he will knock at the door why because he wanted to improve likewise let us change our behavior so that we can improve day by day one or more on a fine morning such a change is not possible so behavioral therapy also require a lot of time till the person agrees to it sometimes medication is also required so again uh, you have to read the screen like this fixed ratio fixed interval variable ratio variable interval i hope you remember last year i taught you an example of uh, the piece work uh, uh, that is used for the railway when lot and lot of order is coming the piece work uh, the contractor what he will do he will hire a workshop and day, day in and day out uh, he will work uh, and uh, produce maximum so the per unit cost will be will come down so fixed interval means in, the, in every period what you have to do so this is the tool suppose a student uh, is coming with a learning disability studying in the 10th standard uh, troubled relation lot of issues are there Wow. on a fine morning you cannot uh, change the whole portion that he lost till 9th or 10th standard you have to slowly do it fixed to ratio how much a student can do what all improvement you can make at least if the student has failed can you get a pass mark you have to make understand that child like that so fixed interval means okay by um, uh, next terminal examination there should be some improvement so each and a small thing also should be appre- appreciated variable ratio means not alone at the technique advised by the school you yourself can be a teacher your student himself can be a teacher then variable interval means whether uh, changing of the school is required or uh, can continue in the school or uh, think of uh, another occasional training so last totally you have to do because reading writing everything if it is lost it's not that easy to uh, make up later so likewise various reinforcement we discussed uh, the last year i'm just brushing up because i wanted to go to the tools uh, of behavioral therapy uh, which was not taught uh, last year 
Uh, so the the usual tool uh, you used in behavioral approaches that <coughs> okay i'm just taking a one minute break hope uh, you understood uh, somebody may respond whether you understood uh, the things that i could re refresh the brush up for the last year's study uh, i'm just uh, talking about the tools see best example also i'm discussing time out is one of the tools in behavioral approach that is Suppose when two children quarrel, usually when uh, when the children will be quarreling, children will be quarreling usually when they play. So time out is a condition that you simply don't punish the child. You say it's a, never it's a punishment, but you keep the two children at two places, even to your latest house, okay, or to another room. You don't play. So the children always wanted to play. What will happen? They will come for a compromise. Okay, we will not quarrel. So likewise, that slowly that uh, behavior can be modified. And uh, another thing is that, uh, one second, I am just taking a one minute break because uh, statutory requirement. <laughs> Uh, sorry for disturbing. So the timeout is a condition that by separating uh, the event into two, uh, the problem can be resolved. And best example is 144, the government uh, is declaring uh, for more than five people shall not uh, assemble. What happens is that when say uh, shall not assemble, five more than five people shall not assemble, that means there is a uh, little chance of, this, uh, or even no chance of uh, any any riot and next tool is called the response cost response cost means contributing to a person to whom you don't like contributing to a person to whom you don't like that means suppose uh, i mean just only an example i'm telling it may be an exaggeration but uh, this is the method a person has come so i really wanted to stop my smoking habit or drinking habit then, uh, then only I, this tool will work. Then I am asking, okay, if you touch a cigarette, you have to use a principle, a, a tool called response cost. Suppose you don't like a particular party. For example, I'm a strong believer of uh, Communist Party. I hate uh, BJP uh, or RSS. Uh, then uh, I am asking, okay, you have to contribute. Suppose you touch a cigarette, you should definitely contribute 100 rupees to uh, the, the opposite party that is you don't like if I say when I come in man I must contribute to RSS office every time I should do it then you should, you should actually only if a person is really interested to change behavior this response cost will work then he will definitely take a decision that I will not uh, touch if I touch I have to contribute to whom a person I don't like that is the problem when I say I don't I don't like and I, I contribute that means uh, it will be it will be troubling me. So one of the tools that they are, if he say the person, the client is ready to want, really wanted to change and ready to um, practice to change, make improvement in the life, this response cost will work. Flooding is another condition is that somehow using a triangulizer or something, a person is you will you will study a lot of uh, phobias and all that. In uh, when you use lot of phobia. Suppose a person is reluctant to uh, enter into an aircraft. Okay, somehow through some motivation uh, or uh, they're taking just a half willingness. Uh, if you ask the person to enter into a lift and no stop uh, is allowed, that means uh, within a few seconds, few minutes, the lift will reach that place. Nothing has happened. So the flooding is that method or aircraft. Uh, only after reaching Mumbai, the uh, aircraft will stop. So just one travel will resolve the problem. Many of these things, flooding, that you can uh, use for examination fear, like a, once he will be successful, he will change behavior. A, once a single treatment will be enough in such a case. A person's willingness is also an important thing. And systematic desensitization is that I'll be in next class, I'll be covering a lot of phobia, mental disorders, uh, mental diseases, anxiety disorders, etc. So uh, slowly experimenting what will happen. See, for example, a person fears dog. That's what um, Pavlov say. 
a child is fearful of uh, dawn. He is telling that uh, don't ask what will happen if uh, I uh, fear lion. It is not like that. It is a, a typical example. He is telling that a, ch a child is uh, fearful of uh, dog. Let you buy a playful dog uh, in the house, in, the, in your premises. Have a cage. Everything is safe. Uh, ask the child uh, not to come to the come towards uh, the cage. But you start playing with the dog. All the family members is a playful small puppy. Then uh, you will be playing every day. What will happen? Slowly the child will understand. Dog is something, uh, a pleasure giving toy. So that uh, pet, the child will be playing. So uh, Pavlov say after one week, uh, the, the other family members may not get uh, a, a slot to play with the dog. The child will always be with the pet. So like systematic desensitization is also possible. Aversion therapy, uh, we cannot say it is ethical uh, every time. Especially when you see the uh, advertisements coming in the papers and all that uh, by mixing uh, some drug with the food, you can stop the um, uh, stop the drinking habit or smoking habit of a person. That is not actually legally permissible. You are not supposed to do. Or aversion therapy is also used in family therapy. That also, personally, I am not uh, in support. Because, for example, uh, you suppose a partner is sexually aggressive. If the other person is inhygienic, he may get an aversion. Or a bad odor is sprayed uh, on the body. Likewise. So that is not a... Uh, uh, instead, the cognitive behavioral therapy will be better in such cases. Because uh, hedonism, uh, without uh, disturbing others, should be promoted. It, it should be the rule, uh, not aversion therapy. Now, let me go to the cognitive behavioral theory approach. So, if you study this particular theory well, the benefit is that you can apply theoretically the, uh, the postulations and the remedies. At the same time, uh, you can uh, the reality therapy. If you read reality therapy after this, it will be very simple for you. And now, my dear students, uh, uh, how do you feel that um, you are, are you clear about the behavioral theory part or you require any more explanation or if you have got any doubt for example behavioral therapy is the most important therapy with regard to the changing of the behavior drinking smoking habits and all that but sometimes you, you will also be writing uh, some case studies of addiction so they will be asking for the viva a question that uh, can uh, drinking or uh, any addiction can be changed by a counselor, especially when you do the counseling psychology. Now, what is your opinion? What do you understand from the behavioral therapy, its application? Or if a question is asked whether you will be able to change uh, the uh, drinking behavior or smoking behavior, drug uh, use behavior or the mobile addiction of a child through by using behavioral therapy, how is your answer? First thing is, how did you understand the theory, the various uh, tools they use used, and how confident you are uh, in stopping the behavior, improving the behavior, using the behavioral therapy? Can you please share your, let us take some time to discuss, then only it will be clear. Please tell me uh, how you understand this theory, how you will be able to utilize it. What will be your answer if your Viva master is asking that, how good, how confident you are, you can stop the behavior of a drinking, smoking habit to using the... Sir. Ah, tell me, ask me. Please. Uh, we will uh, give them some relaxation therapy first and come to... Come to? Hello. Apari, tell me. Uh, behavioral therapy to uh, deduce the addiction. That was the answer. That was the question, right? Yes, yes. Well, one question is that, uh, first thing is, my personal question, did you understand the concepts? Second thing is that, uh, finally, they'll be asking, uh, will the behavioral therapy be helpful to, or you can you stop the addiction behavior using the behavioral therapy? So you say you will give some relaxation therapy. My dear students, please try to understand. 
uh, I will come with a presentation in the next uh, class that uh, what is addiction. In the addiction, for, for example, suppose um, a mother, a housewife, he is using uh, or uh, having an inclination, a desire to have a tea or coffee exactly at the time of 10 o'clock in the morning or by 3 o'clock. So you cannot, uh, the mother has got no right to blame uh, his, her husband uh, for the drinking or smoking habit because the same hypothalamus the hypothalamus is tamed in such a way that uh, by the time of 10 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the evening the hypothalamus is demanding uh, caffeine likewise a smoker's blood is demanding uh, caffeine or alcoholic uh, uh, hypothalamus is demanding uh, alcohol so in the same way, it is based, your answer should be, the healthy answer should be, uh, you, you cannot be sure that using a therapy alone, you will be able to change the addiction behavior because already the hypothalamus is tamed in such a way that the blood demands this particular chemical, or whether it is a tea, uh, smoking or drinking. And so there are certain techniques that is, a withdrawal symptom has to come in the patient. So to exaggerate it also, there are medicines and uh, uh, detoxify the cells. Cells have to be detoxified and detain the, the retaming uh, the hypothalamus to, to a level that uh, the hypothalamus will not demand because in a social setup, religious centers are doing um, by spending one month, two months in the center, uh, giving little, little um, alcohol or allowing to smoke slowly stopping but that may not work because can we unwell condition is another factor uh, you stop and send back the person the, the client or the patient to the community where he, he has got friends they may um, inspire I mean, they may motivate that person to go for a drink or a smoke then also that will not be stopped so you know medication is required remineralization vitaminization uh, drug therapy and uh, detoxification withdrawal symptom everything is required and if a person is continuing under that uh, psychiatrist as well as counselor family support uh, friend support and uh, the society support everything is required for changing the addiction i hope you are clear so just by depending on the intensity of the disease only you can do something i hope you are clear are you clear Yes, sir. Please. So if the person has not decided first, first we will give the medications and then we will continue. No, to uh, that is why you will be asked to do, do when you when you take the okay, very good. At least you you started. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I'm very thankful to you that at least uh, you are responded to this level. This is enough. It will be useful for everyone. I'm only happy because uh, why should I take the trouble of asking question? Yes, sir. Yes, madam. Yes, sir. I was just fielding my uh, attendance. That's why I, I'm unable to answer at the okay. initial stage. Okay. okay. Very good. Very right. Everybody respond. And only the teacher also has got an interest to do all this. And uh, it will be helpful for uh, gaining knowledge uh, to do the therapy, everything. Uh, at least uh, you are able to see the partially my screen also. Now, you can see the... Hello, sir. Uh, yes, you can see partially, partially yes, my sir. screen also. Okay. Now, the thing is that... you sir, uh, Tell me, tell me, please. Hello, sir. Premiere, Premiere. Ah, sorry. Ah, Premiere, madam. Ah, ah, yeah. Thank you. I uh, only based on the episode intensity so that is why in mental 
status examination when you take, uh, you also take the medical history, social history, everything, educational history, everything. So based on that, you will know the intensity. Suppose a person has been addicted for uh, more than five years, 10 years, then counseling alone may not work. It may work rarely. So medication is also required. So if you simply say, especially counseling students, so I'm, I'm coming to the next screen, you will come to know that the CBT, the, our belief is a big problem. So just because you have taken counseling, you don't never think that clinical part is not applicable to you. You have to learn the various uh, illnesses that you, that you, people are bringing towards you. They may show the medical reports, they may show the uh, uh, doctor's report, the medicines that uh, they are taking. At that time, you say, are all the uh, act of psychiatrists, I don't want to look into this. Then the client won't turn up to you. So I hope now you are clear. Behavioral therapy alone may not work uh, in intense cases. You need a drug therapy also. And I'll be covering one uh, slide on addiction next day. So the cognitive therapy is also called as a, as a, many cognitive therapies are there, but the basis of cognitive therapy is the same. The difference also I'm sharing, but you should understand the reality therapy. Everything will be very simple if you learn CBT well. So let me go to this approach in general. Cognitive states are the fundamental components of personality. Last year also we, I covered, I purpose, though it was not a part of his syllabus, I covered a portion of this. Uh, so cognitive states are the fundamental components of personality. So every theory, theory and therapy. So let me begin uh, right from behavioral therapy. Behavioral therapy say all behaviors, whether it's bad or maladaptive, that is illness, are uh, learned. How a bad behavior has come? Uh, according to behavioral therapy, basically it has come from uh, your uh, learning. So you have to unlearn. It's not that easy. That's why the five conditions that Pavlov is telling. So according to cognitive behavioral therapy theory, the cognitive state, how you think. First, a stimulus comes. Stimulus is uh, assimilated through brain. Before that, the thought process is taking place through senses. Senses are giving the stimulus uh, to the brain. So the cognitive states are the, the, like the half round I was showing. First, a stimulus, stimulus. That stimulus is taken to senses, then to the brain, assimilate and respond. So such a cognitive state is personality according to cognitive theory. So emotions and behaviors are based on schema or belief. Schemas are cognitive perceptions, interpretations, and assumptions that individuals use to help organize and make sense of their experience. So schema or the belief. So this is the base of cognitive behavioral therapy or such way of counseling. So the, if you change the belief, all the problems can be changed. The religious belief, how you became a Christian or a Hindu or a Muslim. So learn the things, very simple. Very few, only very few people <coughs> adopt a particular religion later. Uh, usually it's all parental. What is put in the SSLC book or articulation book that is follow. So it's all belief. So likewise, you uh, the spouse, the student has got some belief, teacher has got some belief. If you change the belief, uh, your problem will be solved. So schema are cognitive perceptions, interpretations and assumptions that individuals use to help organize and make sense of their experience. Schemas can either be functional, that is rational, they are reasonable reasonable and it can be dysfunctional, it can be irrational, inaccurate and unhelpful and can compete with each other. Dysfunctional schemas predispose people to psychological distress. So according to cognitive behavioral therapy says almost all behaviors are learned. So conditions also they are telling how to change it. So in cognitive behavioral therapy it says that it is the dysfunctional schemas. Beliefs are good. But the belief itself is turning to an illness, maladaptiveness, then there will be psychological distress according to cognitive behavioral theory. So I have explained all this the last year also, though it was not a part of the syllabus. Now I'm telling in detail, maladjustment, maladaptive or self-defeating behaviors stem from the rational belief. Rational belief means reasonable, acceptable to society, 
to the person, individual concerned, and the family and society, then otherwise it will be irrational beliefs. So maladaptive cognitions come from early experiences, certain experiences. Like uh, yesterday we discussed in TA, the script writing. Scripts are written. So when the scripts are written, it is reinforced again and again, like in the Gita's racket system. So selective attention, misperception, misperception maladaptive focusing, uh, repertory deficiencies. Repertory means you don't have sufficient resource in your brain to, to resolve the problem. So cognitive therapy and the RE beta, emotional, emotive, behavioral therapy, differ in their emphasis on specific cognitive content, RE beta. You see, just imagine, you yourself imagine, you just to decide today, today onwards you take a decision. Okay, I am going to change most part, not everything, at least even the most part. I avoid two words from my dictionary, mental dictionary, repertoire, that must and should. It should be like this, must be like this. People are like that, individual differences, psychology. A, a study on individual differences, psychology itself. So why should you stick on to the must and should? Something, things may not work also. So CBT, cognitive profiles of depression, anxiety, panic are different and record different techniques. So CBT, REBT say, if you simply remove must and should also, there is some solutions of peace of mind. CBT certainly say, what you should do, you should develop a self-enhancing thought. You should develop self-enhancing thought and reduce self-destructive thoughts. Maladaptive, rational thoughts are to be removed and self-enhancing rational thoughts are to be developed. So here uh, I'm giving few minutes to you. Please read. I hope all of you can read clearly. Six statements are given. That is irrational statements. There are alternative statements. Can you just read and respond? Uh, I'm giving five minutes time. You read a one to six, the left side, and everything, every uh, irrational, uh, because it's a therapy I'm taking. You can consider it as a group therapy also. So, uh, see, I need love and approval from those significant to me and must avoid disapproval from any source. Suppose a person has got that belief. He will be troubled because he may not get, get love. See, the person significant to you, your spouse, your children, or your closest friends you feel, but uh, then you are not getting that. Then you are very sad. So there is an alternative. Love approval are nice, but not necessary. Suppose that person is not loving. So in like in um, Carl Rogers theory, you will learn. If nobody is ready to love me, let me love the nature. Let me go to the nature and enjoy. Like this, there can be alternative. Can you please read, my dear friends, can you please read all the one to six uh, in the left side and uh, see the alternatives. Uh, now you understand that uh, there are irrational beliefs in people. It can be changed with many alternatives. It's only one alternative is given. There are many alternatives through which you can improve your thoughts. So here next one, only irrational uh, things are, uh, thoughts are given. I can be happier by avoiding life's difficulties, unpleasantness and responsibilities. So the best answer would be, to my opinion, uh, difficulties. The, first time, let me read the rational one. I can be happier by avoiding life's difficulties, by avoiding life's difficulties, unpleasantness and responsibilities. So the best alternative to me is the difficulties, unpleasantness, and responsibilities are part of life. You cannot run away from this. That can be the best uh, rational thought according to me. What do you say? Somebody unmute and talk. Please, someone, I want to proceed and complete. Like Pramama said, we cannot spend a lot of time on <coughs> asking for curry. What do you say? If anybody is telling that avoiding life's difficulty, unpleasantness, and responsibilities, is it possible? No, sir. Yes. So difficulties, unpleasantness, and responsibilities are part of life. You have to face it. Likewise, you read all the 12, all the rest of the five or six, you will come to know that these are there are many alternative thoughts, beliefs, 
so you can change so i am proceeding the class after one minute let me let you read all the terms in a live class i would have asked everybody to present the with alternatives okay <coughs> there are cognitive distortions many times it is asked for examination for you to memorize i am giving with the six stories it will be very interesting story is really taken from uh, uh, the real life experiences and clinics years back many many years back when cbsc result was published at that time uh, people could get the result earlier it's actually decade decades back it's a thing known to me the principal the college the say, say examination etc was not there at that time the principal of that uh, institution was known as a cruel principal uh, it's a mother head the superior but she really loved every student even her as tax the teachers uh, for the best result this is a village what happened was that uh, one student on a particular day uh, came to the school at that time it was a holiday for the school it was a saturday the afternoon and they went to the principal's room this this cruel principal uh, so and they declared that he got a, got the result uh, uh, from one of his at that time that such mass declaration was not there and he learned that uh, he failed for maths he wanted to end up the life so what uh, this uh, principal did is that somehow using the force uh, tied the student and closed the room ran to the uh, parents because they, that uh, mother superior is very close to all the parents the poor village really wanted to serve the society so he brought back the parents by the time in the order of shy explained everything to the parents that what happened wanted to save the child so actually when the this principal is uh, is named as cruel because she was very strict that the society should be should behave to the children in the school premises uh, they should not uh, even the shops should not sell the cigarette bead etc then she will complain to the police so likewise uh, everybody is scared of this principle that is why that name came so all the auto shop people everybody came inside they came to know that this uh, boy is crying and the principal has closed the room tied the boy and uh, everybody reinforced that this principal is like that she is always like that but by the time um, she brought the parents in the auto and explained everything she got faded she was actually very silly poor uh, woman very old uh, lady serving for the society and then after explaining the parents are now telling to the uh, public that she was actually saving the child so now what is the image of the principal the image was very wrong because of the arbitrary inference anuman nammal just take this story as a peripheral thing for you to remember just understand how many wrong arbitrary inferences that we are holding with us and blaming that that person is like this this person is like this that may not be true at all so one of the cognitive distortion distortion how will you remember the meaning distortion you can remember the meaning in a different way that suppose i am taking a class suppose a drum beat the procession is going aside the uh, road so i will not be able to take classes likewise the internal thoughts are uh, wrong thoughts are called obsessions are cognitive distortions one of such is that arbitrary inference anumanikkunnathu arbitrary ipo thonunna pole mathram anumanikkunnu not thinking in deep another thing is selective abstraction here uh, you may get confused when i take over generalization and all that don't worry about it uh, the thing is that uh, i will clear it selective abstraction is a one time behavior of a girlfriend in uh, one of the uh, colleges so there will be so pairing everything is uh, common in professional colleges but uh, uh, the two uh, one senior student and a junior student took a decision they are in platonic love uh, they will marry 
uh, once they complete the uh, course and the uh, actually even the uh, parents their parents even society the college because they study well they took a decision after they uh, complete the study get a job they will get married so they usually come for the uh, lunch uh, tea everything together uh, maintaining a very good relation but the friends were simply telling oh this are all will not going to last long but uh, it is a really a case study a small case study that i received the case is ending uh, with a, with a quote that if she was suffering from diarrhea painful diarrhea actually it one day it happened that uh, this girl ignored the boy and ran to a corridor of a hospital where they, the very college they study actually the everybody his friends told him uh, that see look now she ignored you he you she didn't stop even when you called and he also desperately went back to the hostel actually after few hours they came to know she is admitted in the casualty because of the poison food poisoning so likewise selective obstruction just one time incident see likewise the occasional behavior of the would be see likewise uh, over generalization see in uh, one of the live example that i had in my life with uh, in relation to my friend actually they proposed a girl working in the same organization what happened is that in the annual general meeting annual general body meeting that girl was a secretary to the director uh, it was a multinational company and uh, at the time of uh, function the annual general body function she all uh, because of the compulsion compelling she received from his friends her friends and colleagues she took uh, a, a peg a sip and uh, a smoke the boy was uh, proposed a boy was seeing it from working in the same organization seeing it from a distant place so he decided he took a decision that uh, this girl is not suitable to me actually she was a very good girl this boy this boy, person was telling me i was supposed to when i joined in that organization he was telling me i was supposed to marry that girl but because of this incident i i got, I got married to that girl i am also living happily she is also living happily but that something happened in my life so it's all over generalization because it's just about an incident so there's a difference between selective abstraction and over generalization you have to differentiate and magnification magnification and minimization this is another example uh, for example the example i am uh, for your better memory i am telling you elephant diseases versus aids you know the mandaroga so suppose uh, you have to go to a particular area of uh, ethnic population where people have got elephant diseases and when you go and search for a good hotel room all hotels are booked you are not able to get your room and somehow you got only a um, a lodge where you find the inmates of the nearby rooms are suffering from elephant diseases the question is will you stay there most of you will say you will not but you see the take the case of aids it is in 1982 it was uh, came to the known to the world that aids is so dangerous no cure but the question is that in the case of aids it is uh, mostly taking due to the uh, wrong sexual relations so that is whether that behavior has reduced or increased so in the lifindiasis that actually you know that now local self governments are distributing two tablets one is uh, uh, a, I mean, a particular thing that has came is not coming to my tongue now uh, chloroquine so that that one plus uh, to uh, anti helminths mebendazol albendazol is given to you by local self government schools and all that uh, and a particular day you are asked to take it and not to defecate in, on the earth go to toilet why because now it is identified that this um, allergic conditions uh, is not filth etc uh, is a part of elephantiasis only and most of the people have it but still we are reluctant to accept that uh, only if that particular type of mosquito is there that bites that person suffering from elephantiasis and bites back you during night or in the um, late evening Uh, there's a possibility 
but AIDS is rare. But people are not stopping their behavior. So that means for something that, that uh, you have to magnify, you minimize. Something that you have to minimize, that you maximize. That is another cognitive distortion. For examination, this rust, you can write in a better way. And personalization is that I am responsible for everything. So well, such a person also, for example, when in Indian condition or third world countries, the marriage and all that is taking place, uh, no, mostly at the wish of the parents. Even the uh, bride is the woman is seeing the house of the bridegroom only after the marriage. So, <coughs> so after a few, I mean, not the engagement, uh, the pentagonal that you see. Uh, after few incidents, the females are also reluctant. Okay, let me somehow get married to someone. So these are all the decisions of personalization. One example I am going to tell you for you to memorize is that one girl, she said that um, I, if he doesn't marry, I will die. They were close friends, not decided to marry. But this boy had an intention to marry this girl. Now the girl is, uh, now the boy, girl is reluctant. The boy is telling, declaring that I will uh, end up my life if you don't die. So when there was a lot of force from friends, relatives, she marries. Actually, uh, it's a puzzle because of that. If he dies, let me suffer. So that life may not be successful. Then absolutely dichotomous thinking is another uh, cognitive distortion. Well, from my own story, I will tell you, or I will tell you another example. Small kids know if you give a puppet, such as it is broken, the child will say, no, I want a full one only. If you say yeah, you will give two broken puppets or three broken puppets, quantity is more, he may demand that I want a full puppet. Likewise, that is an absolute or dichotomous thing. I want this or I don't want. So this is uh, one of the examples. So let me proceed to, uh, are you clear about cognitive distortions? Somebody respond, I will proceed. Yes, sir. Okay. This, uh, if you think all this, uh, everyone is good because of the cognitive distortions. You are not able to think uh, uh, cognitively. So that ends up uh, in a uh, so lot of illnesses. You can imagine if there's a <coughs> case. Suppose a person is uh, brought to a psychologist. I'm telling you a story. So it will be interesting for you. Suppose a, a person is uh, coming voluntarily to a psychologist and telling that, uh, like in our uh, uh, rational, irrational thoughts, alternatives that we discussed, a person is coming to me, I am a psychologist, and declaring to me that, sir, my problem is that I don't have friends. Friendship do not last. You learned the T and other. Maybe the transaction is the reason. But the thing is that since psychologists know all these things, uh, the psychologist, myself, I'm telling that boy, okay, you find another friend and introduce that friend to me also. And when there's a uh, situation of breaking the relation, you tell me, tell so. Okay, he is doing like this. He, uh, he is coming to me. He declared uh, that he found another uh, friend he is introduced to me. Now, one day he is rushing to my clinic and telling that, sir, this time also that friend did, did ignored me. He That friend ignored me. Uh, he didn't speak to me. He was uh, riding a bicycle and uh, moved away. He, uh, even though I, I waved my hand, he, he saw me, but he ignored me. Then uh, what is the belief of the A? Belief of, belief about the antecedent is that he is ignoring me. He doesn't like me. I could end up with friends forever. That is a script is why he is writing the script. Uh, that world would be trouble, would be terrible. Uh, for me to be happy and feel worthwhile, people must like me. I am unacceptable as a friend, so I must be worthless a person. So he is building, he is writing his own script and saying that, I am worthless. My life is worthless. So naturally the consequence will be he feel worthless and depressed. So the behavior continue to avoid other people. So please try to understand this is, the, this is a problem that he created. Once he changed his belief, all the problem will be solved. So this is what uh, I am trying to cure in, the, in my clinic. 
using the I mean a basis of derivative antecedent or incident a belief and the consequence say hey so suppose it's a different person or I am asking oh, so in this case suppose that I ask that friend okay when you called did you respond did he respond no he didn't respond okay let me see we will go to his house so what really happened was that a big large tree fell on his house imagine that condition fell on his house and even the power uh, supply was disturbed he has brought many people to make it right and city but people have come many people have come so suppose the including the clinician me as well as that boy he started decided to visit that person and we started helping that person to set right his problems to bring back the electricity for him to live peacefully during this night the question is will the relation will be more bonded or they will scrap the relation can I answer when you when your belief is changed your activity is changed what happened the abc's of cbt the consequence became different he didn't incur then now the uh, friend my the, the friend or the client came to me now he agrees that he didn't ignore me deliberately he may not have seen me he might have had something on his mind i would like to help if i can so feelings concern goes to visit a friend who to see how he is so to my students i'm doing counseling pg see another another thing I'm doing counseling PG. Suppose the counseling students think another very recent case I am explaining to you. Uh, I'm doing so. Suppose you think I'm doing counseling PG. Why should I know clinical aspects of psychiatric medicine? See the next time. Now, my dear friends, did you see this ABCs of CBT? One uh, case I explained. How do you understand this? By changing a belief, how the behavior will change? Please, somebody respond so I'll go to the next screen. Yes, sir. Through this, uh, uh, it helps <coughs> to raise his self worth. And self -esteem. If you change the uh, your beliefs, you think in a different way. So that is this ABC of CBT. And that's hidden belief, the consequence. Once you change the belief, the same incident. There will be different consequences. So let me see with the other to my students. So I am doing counseling PG. Why should I know clinical aspects of psychiatric medicine? See next slide. Two cases came to my clinic. So this is applicable to you, my dear friends. So if a different person, see so for example, a parent's mother, a psychology student, is years back, many years back. Brought an LD child to me. Uh, she also agreed that the child is having LD. I also found that child has got LD. Slowly only we can make the things okay. At that time the child was in fifth standard. I told uh, the student, since you are a psychology student, it is better you specialize in LD. You can do all the case studies. That is half of the case studies in different LD. Now it is called specific learning disorders. So why can't you study this skill so you can get a very good professional that she was reluctant. So she didn't take up that. Uh, she simply completed the course using the counseling. She didn't uh, give any specific interest to learn uh, learning disability problems and all that. So finally, uh, the school asked the child by seventh standard, uh, the school uh, was deliberate of changing the student removing the student from the roles so finally what happened is that the mother uh, though unwittingly got the boy admitted to a vocational training school so this is because of the belief that i can't change the boy but i was though i am supporting i am a special educator i can help you my dear student uh, you are my student why can't you study this uh, this syllabus and this technique and improve uh, your child and become a good professional, a life profession you get. But the thing is that they they are not willing to listen. So what happened is that uh, the student uh, was taken to a 
vocational training school. Otherwise, that problem could have been solved. But we are not ready to change our belief. A very recent case came to me. A parents brought a teenager studying in the 11th standard with the name, etc. We are not supposed to. I am only telling the case to reveal. So the teenager, so we have, uh, he was, the parents are collecting to tell uh, that uh, the, the boy is taking using medicine. But accidentally, in one of the talks, they said uh, he could not complete the exercise he gave, uh, sir, uh, because he was taking medicine. Then I suddenly asked, what are the medicines? You just see, you'll be shocked to see the medicine. Uh, you may, it may be difficult for you to understand. But I got uh, the prescription when I went to net and stayed because I got some basis. I did my clinical psychology. So I got uh, close as well. You can also make this knowledge. This is required because when they, when they are telling that my son is taking this many, or the client is taking this many medicines, if you, uh, you ignore all this prescription and you don't even look into this, that the client may not come to you. But if you have got knowledge, you can definitely counsel the parents because the parents only want the person to get high marks. But this person is having is a psychotic uh, patient, though 17 years old. Just I'm showing the different slides, the medicine that the, the boy is taking. See, uh, you can see this Alanex F is a medicine for bipolar depression. Number one, another Talendol is an anti-psychotic drug. Oxepin, it is prescribed for epilepsy seizures. Inspiral, it's a medicine taken for behavioral disorder hyperactivity, attention deficit hyperactivity. Then Voxidep, it's a tablet used at uh, serotonin. Serotonin means happy uh, moods, mood changing. How to better get a good mood. Yep, and, and a clofranil. So this is another medicine for OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. A single case, the person is taking this much medicines. You just see a six, a half, a half a dozen medicine this person is taking. And what the parent want? Parent only want one thing. This boy has to get best score in maths with the computer science. Like in Spadig and Philip. Without studying all this, your life is gone. Now, so I took that much pain to make the client understand that now you should be thankful to the God or to the Almighty or the, you, to whom you believe or the nature that this boy is alive. So the most important thing that I'll be covering, though it is not a part of your syllabus, you should also know what is schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, that is, anhedonism is one of the symptoms of schizophrenia. A person do not have any interest in the lively pressures. So no interest to leave. Such a person is unrealistic. So being hedonistic, having pleasure, interest for pleasure, pleasure-seeking, not at the cost of or liberty of others, nothing wrong. So the, our purpose should be, if suppose the, instead of this uh, boy is taken to uh, study academics in mathematics and computer science, if the boy is taken, admitted for some social sciences, at least social skills will improve. So I'm trying at least for degree, he should take up some social subjects. So in this way, unless or is you know the the entire psychology, various topics available in the world, you cannot be a good psych psychologist. I just wish to have your comments about this particular case, uh, cases I discussed. Can you spend one minute so that I can go to the next screen? Sir, I have a doubt. Yes, please. Sir, as a counseling psychologist, do we need to study the name of these drugs and its uses? Not necessary. At least, uh, suppose uh, when uh, the person is uh, now WhatsApp, everything is there. You ask the people to send this uh, prescription, it's prescription only, not the details that uh, that I've shown to you, so that you can definitely go to the site. Now you can Google get everything. So you have an idea that uh, because uh, the, uh, the problem present this particular case is a frank, a true case. What the parent presented to me, knowing that I'm a special educator, learning skills I will share. 
they pay. They, I'm, I'm, I'm able to solve such many cases. But this person is also, when I'm trying to teach him, he is uh, just doodling his heads and agreeing with me. But he doesn't look into the book and study because he is having OCD, he is having uh, attention deficit, he is psychotic, schizophrenia. So whatever counseling I will do, you just think whatever counseling you do, will it have any effect? Just answer me. Because he is taking Anderson drugs, psychotic drugs, anti-psychotic drugs. So he cannot be attentive. So you, through love and affection only, by become, making him hedonistic, that like, like you let him enjoy some pleasures and find some meaning in the life. Academics is not that important now. Otherwise, if I didn't know all these things, I didn't look into the uh, anchor into the what he is taking, I will simply continue with my counseling. What will happen? Just tell me. Hope you are clear. Why should I know this? No, sir. No, no sir. No, sir. You are, you, are, you are correct, sir. We need to know, know what the client is using medicine. If he is not using any medicine, then we can continue with the psychotherapy and all. That is why. If he is using any medicine, we, we, we need to know that which type of medicine, yes. medicine he is that. using. Right. Now, the thing is that, my dear friends, you please try to understand. Otherwise, you know, the mental status examination that you will be doing, uh, if, if you if your students are coming ready to come to the in group, I can help you do your internship. But the thing is that in internship, you are supposed to do 10 cases, 24 hours, you are supposed to spend for one case. Maybe COVID, everything is there, but online you can do a lot of things. The thing is that unless or you learn all these things, what will happen? Your internship also, you copy something and you get the mark. But uh, actually, you are supposed to do the mental status examination, the medical history, educational history, and the social history. So when you take all this, you will come to know if he is taking any medicine. So in that way, only you will, uh, sometimes they were, in my case, this case, they were reluctant. Accidentally, they said, sir, that he cannot uh, complete the particular rescue method, the question answer type uh, memorizing. He could not do because he slept because he was taking medicine. Then only I demanded the uh, med medicine step. So medicine, so I am very familiar with this. I could, within five minutes, I make get everything. I asked the parents to come. Now parents are on the track. Now they, he does, they do not compel, compel the child. I said, see, living in the world happily, now that boy is good. Uh, your purpose should be happy living, not the academics. Even if academics is lost for one year, nothing is going to happen. You should have it living. Hope you are clear. So you should, see, whatever be the knowledge. So likewise, okay, I wanted to clear the doubt of one lady. What is your name that you asked whether I should know the uh, drug name, everything. What is your good name? Kindly please. Vaishnavi. Ah, Vaishnavi, you just try to understand. Likewise, uh, a person is coming with a career problem. So in the career problem, a person is coming. Need I know what all careers available? See, unless there is, you know what all the career available, or you yourself is not successful in career, you don't get or any, any psychologist. You, the psychologist himself is uh, uh, running after uh, bread. Uh, you are going to be a counselor and uh, in career means it is not correct. Actually, you have to prove yourself that you apply the psychology and a uh, lot of opportunities available. You should know various subjects to do counseling. Counseling is the theory alone won't help you. Then you will be just advising. You must be able to help the person think himself better. For that, you should have ample knowledge. Without that, suppose a person is taking this much medicine, he will simply uh, dance with his head against my talk. He is not attending because he is already attending deficit he has got. He is a psychotic. OCD is uh, uh, already he is taking uh, medicine for dopamine uh, improvement. So all this shows that uh, he is simply coming and sitting with me. Like the counseling will not have any effect. But if I take him to some realistic other therapies like uh, um, art therapy uh, and uh, moving him to outside and play with him, there will be some change in him. So the psychologist's role is so vast. Unless he's got, got very good knowledge. So ignore, I don't want to see all these things. Then you simply continue your counseling. He is uh, under medication. No result you can bring. Hope you are clear. 
sir, one more thing that uh, please. Uh, please, one please. of my friend in her uh, while during her do, doing her therapies, mm -hmm. she told that if the parents may have some misconceptions misconce about the medications and the drugs because by seeing the prescription, they are googling it. Yes, so yes. and they are getting the misconception that my child have this and so and so problem, so and so uh, issues. So they are getting uh, some misconception. So how can we help that parents? That is right. That is right. It is uh, see if the child is taking this many medicines, it is true that he has got serious problem. So uh, now knowing the serious problem, you can definitely discuss the with the parents. These are the medicine taking. Certainly, the child is having the problem. Now the your concentration should not be high marks. Let him pass the exam. Let him study some other subjects and improve the quality of living. Improve the quality of living. Because with this psychotic drug, he may even commit suicide if there is a pressure from the parents that he should score mark, isn't it? So yeah. uh, your your purpose should be to help the parents. Or unless you have got very good knowledge, or you should have co-counselors, friends, a good psychiatrist, you can learn many things. Never stop academics. Just uh, getting a degree in uh, psychology alone can't help you. You should have ample experience, wide knowledge in various areas. Hope you are clear. I can proceed. Yes, <coughs> so strategies. That's why I'm, ex I'm, I'm, I'm telling the strategies for helping clients. By this, you'll be clear. Collaborative empiricism, Socratic dialogue, and guided discovery. Are you better confrontation? See, collaborative empiricism. It should be a research with the client, along with the client. You should have a collaborative approach. So try to you should have it should be very clear in, when you talk. Cognitive model, therapist models with the self-talk cognitions and the client will cooperate. So you can make imaginations in the client, especially when the client is unhedonistic. You have to bring there are pleasures in the life. So that is why uh, it is psychotic. Naturally, when we ask. Uh, some of the parents or the parental family members have got these problems in mean, some of the generations. So covert modeling. So a client imagines an imagination engaging the desired behavior so she wants to learn and adopt. So slowly let him come to some imaginations. Uh, what do you say? A um, uh, lot of uh, Creativity. The exact, the exact word is called creativity. You have to bring creativity in the client. Thought stopping. So in the, well, that is uh, thought stopping means actually the thought stopping itself is uh, the lesser use of defensive mechanism. Interruption of unwanted thoughts when they occur by shouting stop. So uh, no, that alone will not work. Cognitive therapy itself has to be applied that only good thoughts come. Other thoughts should not come. Thought practice, see, there's a, a medication, meditation called Vipassana meditation. It's actually taken from the Patanjali Yoga. That is, I told in the last year also, Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara. Pratyahara means let that thought go away. Stop that uh, slowly by training. That thought will not come. Obsessive thought will not come. So, of course, this boy is taking medicine. So, sometimes the medicine is required in serious cases. So, cognitive restructuring. You know? By making a cognitive restructuring, displacement of rational, maladaptive thoughts with the rational and adaptive ones. So now the boy is getting 60%, 65% mark in this example. If that boy is golden, what the parent should do, parents should appreciate. Even if he fails for a topic, he should have a good living, not the career now. Now the purpose is that he should enjoy the pleasures in their life. He should, he should make uh, the world with uh, more realism. Um, what I just now told you that a uh, lot of creativity you have to bring in here. So cognitive re decatastrophe, re-attribution. Uh, re-attribution means finding a reason. Finding various other reasons. Redefining, reframing, decentering. Stress inoculation. When stress is coming, teaching both cognitive and physical skills, some exercise. So that's why yoga techniques, everything will improve the activity. Creativity, creativity is generated. His talents or energy is utilized for many things. Why energy is to be utilized for many things? Catastrophing, that is 
cognitive restructuring, the thoughts obsession will stop. Now, there's a saying that idle man's mind is a brain um, uh, devil's workshop. Idle man's mind is a devil's workshop. When you know, the, uh, obsessive thoughts are coming through creativity, you can change the thoughts. So not the academics. Academics, he hate that. Now the parents are forcing that you do academics, academics get scored best to mark. So this is the problem. Now they, you have to treat the uh, social skills are to be developed. He has to actually, uh, now finally the parents have agreed that after uh, they wanted to send him to the um, mathematics, computer science field, the boy he doesn't have any interest. Suppose he is uh, studying social sciences, sociology or psychology, he will improve. There are many openings now. So likewise, he himself become a uh, uh, tutor, teacher, a clinician for him. I hope you are clear. So obstacles change. Again, the obstacles change is nothing but what we discussed, the co cognitive distortion. I can't stand it. A change should happen naturally. Why should I work for it? Likewise, a lot of questions will come from the client. See, unless or else you change this belief of the client, likewise, in our, uh, our own student, uh, years back, the child is having a uh, learning problem. Well, they are telling what I can do. The teachers are teaching. Why should I specialize? Why should I specialize uh, this topic to solve the problem of my son? Yes, if you specialize, the benefit is that. No doubt the benefit is that she get a profession. Her, her son will uh, can get to solve the problem. You, when they are taking to many clinicians, they get a lot of idea. For the examination also, they, get, they do better. But she was not ready to change the belief. Now you just uh, tell me, suppose, uh, you know what is um, diabetes and all that. So for example, uh, type 1, type 2 diabetes. So you know, small children may be having uh, type uh, 1 diabetes. That means the pancreas, the islets of Langerhans do not work at all. Suppose such a case is coming to you. Then he says, uh, boy of 8th standard and all that. Many small children are having this problem. Uh, genetical issues are there. Uh, now, lifelong medication and exercise are required. Yeah, I'm just asking you a simple doubt. Suppose uh, you make the person understand so taking a MBBS is not that easy. Everybody cannot join for MBBS. Suppose that boy or girl is taking any paramedical course like nursing, pharmacy. What will happen? That boy will have will definitely study anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, medicine, a lot of things, isn't it? That person, my question is very simple. Can, uh, is it good for that person to study pure medical subjects or paramedical subjects to solve, help his problem in diabetes? Can you answer? Then only you can understand the, by the importance of career guidance, how the problem of of a person can be solved. That person, instead of going for a social science, suppose he's taking a paramedical course, he will know the anatomy, physiology, everything. So he can manage his illness. Am I right or not? Yes, right. That is fine. How, when you take up a career also, if, they, if some career will suit your problem, you can choose that. That is why the, I, I suggested, not an advice, I suggested that the boy take up uh, social sciences so that social understanding will improve. Uh, he will be more romantic towards the life. This person, since he's a type 1 diabetic boy of 8th standard, a girl of 8th standard, I instigated, I, I motivated them to take up studies in uh, nursing or any paramedical courses. So they can manage that problem. They can be, when they, if they take up additional psychology, they can become a very good counselor also. So few disadvantages of cognitive psychology uh, because uh, if the psychologist himself uh, is prejudiced, that will be a problem. So all these things you will come to know, you, it's not part of uh, your studies. Still, I'm just giving a rational emotive therapy or an overview. Sometimes we'll be asked what is REBT, the difference between CBT, REBT. It's a, REBT is philosophically based. Humanistic approach that emphasizes the individual's capacity creating their own self-enhancing and tight fitting. Says their own self-enhancing and self-fitting. I purposely put the slide with the two case examples I explained to you. Three cases examples now. One is a person having learning disability. The mother did not cooperate, though she was a psychologist years back. 
many students are coming like this most of them are not ready to listen uh, so se only self enhancing you have to make not self defeating so self enhancing means uh, he himself will become uh, a therapist for him that is self enhancing self defeating means he will go to the opposite direction so elis borrowed from philosophy uh, many other stoic philosopher people are not impressed by the but view of this so only the view is to be changed when view is changed belief get changed are be the whole set an individual's belief system affects whether he attains maximum pleasure or self actualization happiness is a goal of all human beings are be it is a theory of how people who want happiness can inadvertently create personality and emotional disturbance see like see these that that all these color descendants is made for you inadvertently without knowing automatically the pleasure will be filled up in all these people then they will be living otherwise for it every ld uh, why what actually he has to improve his language but he is taken for a technical thing but that means the whole life that boy will not be reading anything because he is uh, doing a vocation maybe for lively bread is enough but uh, his problem is remain unsolved okay there is no other opening okay there are openings to improve the uh, learning skills and the other way this uh, yeah, the other case i was telling a uh, schizophrenic patient he will never get happiness if you study uh, maths and computer science he wants social skills the other case of diabetic uh, child he if he study medical science he will be self enhancing i hope you are clear self enhancing and self defeating happiness creativity all this should come so the abc model again i told you so uh, i now depression anger everything my dear uh, friends uh, what i am trying to uh, share in the next three classes is that in the next three classes what i am trying to uh, explain to you is that you have to study a lot of anxiety disorders and personality disorders then certain uh, very few psychotic also but i wish to cover with your uh, permission i wish to cover in a nutshell almost all the disorders and uh, explain later the theory so far study so far we have studied uh, worked with uh, behavioral theories and cognitive behavior theory uh, and ta so next day i will be taking uh, the psychoanalytical and as well as the freudian concepts that also i have shared last year and adlerian concept then i will link uh, each and every each and every illnesses disorders explained in your book also in addition to that i give then i will relate to each theory how to which theory can be applied in which uh, disease are you clear is it acceptable to you so uh, you will ask any other doubts and Uh, I am able to cover this much portion because I am using a well prepared slide. That's why. That's why I am finding time to ask you questions. What do you feel? Is it acceptable to you? I will be covering. Uh, I will be relating instead of uh, teaching the anxiety disorder separately. I will uh, teach you the anxiety disorders and relate which theory therapy you can use it. that will be help that will be helpful to you for practicing as well as to uh, do your internship and to appear for the viva okay yes sir then uh, do you have so far i've covered all this uh, for almost uh, four therapies and a few cases do you have any doubts with regard to internship or anything other i can help you 